Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, this is episode 6 of the AWS Security. And today we're going to talk about an interesting tool provided by the uh, AWS. It's called Trusted Advisor. Now, uh, as you want to get into the security of the AWS, you must be wondering, like, how do we, what are the available tools uh, for the automated checks? Because it's quite impossible to go in and like you know, review all the configuration manually, whether the AWS is configured securely for your client's environment, for your environment. Uh, so that's why there are some uh, available tools. We'll, we'll go through it. There are a few open source. There are a few uh, available within the AWS itself. There are a few things you can write it down like a script or something to do those checks uh, using the AWS API. So we'll, we'll cover those one by one. Uh, but today we're going to discuss uh, about one of the tools which is called Trusted Advisor. Now the Trusted Advisor is a tool to get the reports on the environment. So for example, as you can see on the screenshot here, uh, this is a screenshot from the AWS. Uh, so it shows like, you know, the cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance and service limits. Of course, we are heavily focused on the security tab, but of course you can also get the reports on the other component as well. Now you would see some, th some things are grayed out because like, you know, of course AWS wants to make some money, so they do not offer this tool free of cost for all the components, but of course security uh, partially involved into the free tool. Uh, we'll, we'll look into details uh, when we actually uh, go into the AWS and, and look at the tool. Uh, other thing is, uh, so as I said, like, you know, there is available for all customers. So like uh, uh, this security thing, which is free for everyone. Uh, it validates the security groups, IAM, whether you have MFA on the root accounts, EBS and RDS public snapshots. So all those things are validated when you run this tool. And then, then there is an upgraded plan as well, which you can subscribe for the enterprise support plans, which includes all the other categories. You can also have the weekly updates and then you can also have the programmatic access. And when I say the programmatic access, that means is uh, AWS will give you some APIs and you can customize solution or you can uh, just imagine yourself as a, like, you know, uh, uh, you are you are an architect, AWS architect for Microsoft or some of the big organization, and they want the customized report, so they can also get it uh, using this programmatic access. Of course, Microsoft wouldn't use AWS; they would use Azure. But any other, uh, any big organization, uh, they would like to have like you know the customized reports rather than what AWS provides. So that's something uh, as a support plan AWS does provide. Now let's jump on to our AWS and see uh, how the Trusted Advisor actually looks like. So now we are into the AWS Management Console and this is the uh, home page. Now let's uh, get to the Trusted Advisor. You can uh, just search and click on it uh, to get to it. And as you can see, this is uh, the dashboard and things that it usually checks. Now you can also rerun. So when you hit the refresh, it's gonna run all the checks again. Uh, you can also, uh, of course, download the results. And if you need any additional help, you can also get here. And here you can jump around uh, with the component that you're most concerned with. Uh, now in our example, security is the uh, thing that we want to be focused on. Uh, so now we are only getting, let me close this. Yeah, so now we are only getting uh, the security checks, uh, as you can see, red means uh, in, uh, that's critical and something that uh, is in not compliance. And green checks means uh, you are in compliance. Now, as you can see here, it checks several things. One of them is MFA on root account. I intentionally disabled it so you can see how it reports. And then here you can also see uh, when it was refreshed. Then it's so Amazon EBS public snapshot, uh, here it checks the permission settings for your Amazon Elastic Block store volume snapshot alerts if any snapshots are marked as public. So of course you do not want any of your snapshots to go publicly accessible. 
and then if you want to see the details you can also expand this one and it also tells you what is the alert criteria when you get uh, like non-compliance what is the recommended action and additional resources so likewise uh, s3 permission this is again a big thing uh, in the aws security how you allow access to any unauthenticated uh, aws user so this is again can be uh, is covered by the uh, aws uh, trusted advisor and there are some other checks which are quite helpful like a security groups and im password policy rds security group access uh, cloud trailing logging which are not part of our uh, free tier but of course you can upgrade uh, for that now some of these things i can see here uh, the mfa on root account are actually coming from uh, the uh, oops okay yeah it's actually coming from the iam so if we go back here and you should be able to see it's pulling up the resources or pulling up the details from the iam so let's go here and as you can see here activate mfa on your root account is also one of the security check on the iam i will uh, in the next video we'll we'll take a deep down into the IAM on each of these and what are the best practices uh, when you are uh, either auditing or reviewing the security configuration or as an architect when you are setting up the AWS what are the best practices to follow when you are setting up the your environment but yeah uh, so essentially like you know this is where it's picking the trusted advisor is picking the checks from and giving you the results uh, whether uh, I just want to give you an example on, on when you see the MFA all right so uh, that's why like you know uh, of course there are so many tools out there uh, some of those are really helpful and give you the deep down uh, understanding but this trusted advisor is also a good base start uh, from my perspective in terms of you do not have to integrate anything you do not have to buy anything or it gives you some uh, real time uh, experience or, or review of your environment so you can take the immediate actions and uh, of course if you upgrade your uh, tool then you get much more value out of it so that's all I wanted to uh, discuss in this video if you have used trust advisor tool let me know in comment section what are your reviews and why you agree or disagree with me uh, but uh, please like the video if you uh, if you enjoy watching uh, AWS security course and uh, let me know any other recommendations that you may have uh, that's all and I'll see you guys next week thank you